Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 3 of Modern Skyblock 3. Uh, I just decided to look up the Actually Editions guide on the leaf blower. Leaf blower implies that it blows leaves, Alpec. Okay? You can't call something a leaf blower and have it not blow leaves. <laughs> like, it's in the name! So, the default leaf blower can only blow tall grass and flowers, uh, and uh, the advanced one uh, can blow uh, leaves. So, you'd have to upgrade what we got here uh, to be able to blow leaves. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Leaf blower. Advanced leaf blower. Right, you don't even upgrade it. You just make the better one. Like, it's not an upgrade to the existing one. But we're probably not at this point yet. So, you can't access this item yet. You need stage AA first. Womp womp. You can't even see the recipe for it. I mean, you can in the book, I presume, but like you can't see it through JEI. So that's that's a thing. Where did I put my miscellaneous junk? Probably in here. Uh, so I've been uh, actually I haven't done anything between episodes. I'm not gonna lie. I, I literally just logged into the world and I'm like, hey, I'm here now. Uh, but let's take a look at. Oh, we got some rare loot bags. What could be inside? We should open these up. Womp womp womp. So I got a music disc, a rare mega loot case from Mega Loot. Not familiar with this mod at all. Uh, I don't know what it does. It does, I, isn't, like, do I right-click it? Oh, hello. I presume that is what I do. Dragon leggings, huh? Sweet. Armor set dragon. Increases health by one. Makes resistant to knockback. I like everything about what that says. Sweet. Uh, I also got nuke virus from Pneumatocraft Repressurized, which is in this pack. Lots, oh, and a common mega loot chase. Ooh, a neat helmet looking thing. So you're plus two armor, toughness, three armor. Um... Is this like the same? In terms of armor, it looks the same. Uh, what is going on with this Enderman over here? Why is he glowing green? Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? What is this? <laughs> what? I don't. I need to look up what Curse of Vanishing does because it's a curse. I'm gonna go ahead and be afraid of it. Uh, what is up with that Enderman and why is he even out there? Hello, spider with lots of red eyes. Why are you even spawning out here? What? What? Like, I don't even want to look at him because, like, obviously Enderman, right? Like, you look at him and bad things happen. But what? What am I even seeing right here? This green... This green-looking Enderman. Should I go for it, guys? I mean, I have some decent armor. I think I can pull this off, right? In worst case, you know, I die. You know what I should do before I do it? I should probably get, like, a sword that's not almost broken. And we are gonna absolutely want to turn down... Hostile creatures. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Ready? We're gonna try it. Actually, with this armor, I am not in a bad shape for fighting an enemy. That went well, way better than I thought it might have. That is actually cool. All right, nice. Uh, did I get an Ender Pearl for that? Of course not. Why would I get an Ender Pearl for killing an Enderman? <laughs> dire Wolf, you're so silly thinking you'd get something good for doing something hard. Uh, cool, common loot bag. Wow, I'm getting lots of loot bag stuff. Common mega loot, dude. Oh, hello. A neat looking pickaxe. So this is uh, also from the mega loot, solid grip. I assume that's a, the name of the item is solid grip. I assume that that's a pickaxe of some, some description. Uh, or lack thereof of description. Uh, so, hey, I got a mining backpack. I don't know that I need that, but I got it. Some runes, some quark, uh, a little bit of redstone, which actually is kind of nice. I'm going to throw you inside of a chest of, like, things I want to hang on to. Nether wart sounds nice, too. Um, did I have a chest of things I'd like to hang on to? You're going to be miscellaneous junk, and you're going to be resources now. I've just reappropriated things. Uh, cool. All right. To do better system of organization uh so neat let's go get some loots out of our mob farm here and then we'll start working on stuff for the episode so what's the plan for now this is a terrible way to kill things but you know what creepers inside blowing up enemies is not a bad thing either i kind of like that almost <laughs> nice so you actually do kind of get loots from doing that It's, it's not bad. I 
I really need like a better way into this farm. Oh, hello. I thought I killed everything inside here. I do need a better way to get in here. Hey, it's one of these little dudes from Random Things of Spirit. I don't entirely remember or even know, probably maybe never even knew what that does or how they work, but we'll probably figure it out throughout the series. Lots, like I said, of mods I don't know. You know what's really cool, by the way? I forgot to mention this in episode one and two. Uh, Galacticraft is in this pack, and that's going to happen at some point. Uh, never played with Galacticraft before. Um, we played with Advanced Rocketry before, but we've never played with Galacticraft. So, a little hyped about that. Lots, lots and lots of mods that I've never played with. Um, but obviously this mob farm, we're gonna really need to consider automating it soon. Um, hey, look at that. Sweet. Curse of Binding. Alright, you're gonna go in here with these miscellaneous junk things. And, cool. So we've got some progress to do today. Let's start looking at the quest book and see where we're at. So, we haven't unlocked anything new in quest book, but we will once we've opened up more things, uh, courtesy of this. So, uh, last episode we got our wooden casing going, right? And and this thing is neat. Do I have access to shears yet of any description? Shear, 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 shear. There's like metal shears, there's man of steel, there's, un there's clay shears, that's cool. I think I have to smelt them in order to use them though. Uh, and everything else looks uh, a little bit harder to get than I probably have access to right now. Um, shears of winter, huh? Neat. Snowman drop from a lot quarry. Uh, sheer yo-yo. So what I'm going to probably want to do is do the dancing thing. Come on, grow a tree. Come on, grow a tree. I don't know if in this pack or in, in Sky Resources for that matter, there's, a, there's an equivalent item to the crook that basically makes it so that you can get more leaves from your tree drops. Wow, yeah, you really don't like... You don't like vein mining with an axe. That's what I've learned. It's really actually kind of funny that like the one tool that's meant to break a tree, it doesn't work, but that's cool. Uh, so reminder not to use up all your Acacia saplings, right? And I've gotten lots of people commenting on my ability to pronounce Acacia, but that's, you know, whatever. It's direwolf, get used to it. I pronounce things wrong. So if I wanted more dirt, boom, we could do that, that, and this is what we worked on last episode, right? And I wanted to try just using sticks for this. So how many heat units? Yeah, so sticks, so four sticks would get you 100 heat units. That sounds cool, which is what we need to convert those four things into dirt. Sweet. All right, so today's episode, definitely want to continue uh, expanding out a little bit more of my base and probably work towards getting cobblestone access. Because once we get cobble, that unlocks obviously cobblestone weapons and probably a few other things. Um, and once we've got that going, obviously uh, uh, it would also unlock for us things like doo -doo 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 builder's wands, which would be super cool to have. So what I think I'd like, let's do you. Which was this? Ooh, that's probably a nice place also for some dirt. You, dirt, you. Cool. And this will be our new sapling farm. And this is where we'll kind of just, so that I don't have to stand there and, and grow individual saplings. And obviously, once we get more resources and more stuff, we can expand this area and make more of a proper looking base. Um, no promises on aesthetic dire. Uh, at some point, sure. but. Probably not within the first few episodes. It's going to be a conserve all resources and attempt to progress through the pack kind of thing, as opposed to a make the base look pretty kind of thing. Because you know me, I'm always kind of more uh, form over function. No, wait, the other way around. Scratch that, reverse it. Yay, so now we can grow three trees. Beautiful. Uh, you, sir, are going to need. A location as well. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna do this so that I can do that and eat something. Cool. More of these. Perfect. All right. So, quest book. What do you got for me, buddy? So we so we completed that. So now we can make a dirt furnace, uh, which sounds cool. Right, so dirt, furnace. Well, it actually doesn't sound cool. It sounds awful, but it's better than not having anything, right? So we're going to want uh, gunpowder around some wood and then a single piece of dirt, which doesn't sound terrible. 
Uh, we are going to, though, want to grow some trees. And luckily, this works on all three trees at the same time. So in theory, grow for me, buddy. Come on. At least I thought it worked on all four, all three trees at the same time. Maybe I'm lying about that. Hello, trees. Let's grow. Now we're talking. You know what I did is I, I gave them a little bit more breathing room. I always forget, like, the rules of tree growth. And I don't know if, uh, Acacia... Uh, I don't know how to say this. Um, come on, it's me. I don't know things. Uh, I don't know how to say that. But I always forget the rules, right, on, on tree growth. Cool. So that'll get me, actually, two more sets of this stuff. Which sounds good. So I can get two more pieces of dirt. So you, like I said, this can become much more automated in the future. There's also, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, unless anything's changed, there's like RF powered versions of this. So eventually we can power this on RF, right? Fully automatable at some point, but early game, we're not, we're not there yet, obviously. We, we don't have cobblestone yet, so don't look for automation in episode three. Cool. And boom, we've got it. Nice. Okay. And you'll see that it like it requires 100 heat units to do that craft, but it doesn't use all the heat, I guess. Uh, but as a reminder, when you break the block on top, the heat that's inside this spacing gets lost. See? So that's why you're going to want to eventually automate that. So now let's grab a piece of gunpowder. So you, surrounded by wood with a piece of dirt on top. Should be a dirt furnace. Nice. Okay. Not the most exciting thing in the world, but hey, it smelts things, I guess. So can I start making charcoal? Because that would be cool. I would love if that worked. Yeah, you do use a lot of stuff. But hey, charcoal. Woot. Uh, now I would, I assume, can I make? Tiny charcoal? Yeah, I can. Nice. Okay, cool. And I got the actual editions manual for making an actual editions item. Uh, so here's the deal with tiny charcoal, though. Um, it's probably not worth using in a dirt furnace because a dirt furnace... Well, I mean, it's probably worth using. Yeah, why not, right? So if I stuck you in there, I'm going to assume that you're going to need three tiny charcoal per crafting operation. Because it said it used three times as much fuel, right? Uh, but eventually we'll upgrade this to a proper furnace. So, quest reward, claim, loot box, woot. Got some thorn rose from the Twilight Forest. No idea what you're used for. So therefore you go in there, because I don't know what to do with you. Next quest. Making progress. All right, so uh, lots of things we can do. Freezer, so that quest requires freezer and iron. So I can make, requires stone combustion. Uh, this requires lava. Improved melting? Where's the lava quest? Uh, I don't know. Clay, gravel, sand, lava. There it is. Okay, cool. Now that you can make blaze powder, you can craft into a block and put it above a torch to obtain lava. Melting it could take a few minutes, but if you're lucky, it could even take only a few seconds. All right, so what I'm going to need to do uh, is probably get clay buckets because I'm assuming that, I mean, I don't have access to iron yet. But I can probably get a clay bucket, right? Unfired clay bucket. I'm assuming there's a there's a there's a fired one, right? Yeah, clay bucket. Cool. Why don't I see that in JEI when I look up bucket? I don't know. But uh, so we're gonna want clay, right? So let's do the quest for clay, which I'm pretty sure involves me injecting mortar into dirt, right? By inserting mortar into dirt, you're able to make clay or compress clay by inserting it into compressed dirt. Cool. So we do this, and then we take this guy, right click him, and we have clay. Ta-da! Easy peasy. Claim the reward. We got, ooh, zombie, skeleton, creeper, and sp that sounds nice. That's actually like a really nice bit of rewards right there. Skeletons can't see you, creepers can't see you, spiders can't see you, nice. Can I like wear these on a charm slot? Do I just keep them in my inventory? That's actually super cool. That is a sweet set of rewards, guys. That's what's up. All right, nice. 
Let's keep on smelting. So now I can, by the way, get torches. So that's huge. Uh, but let's get improved melting. The crucible is used for melting blades, powder blocks into lava and crystal stars into fluid. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'm probably gonna want that crucible. It looks like it's made out of bricks and it is. So what we need is more dirt, turn into clay, turn into bricks. Uh, but we can also turn this guy into a bucket now. I don't know if that's a quest or not. Was there a clay bucket quest? I don't see one, but we're definitely gonna need one. Uh, so once you're done smelting, we'll get that going. And I guess what I should do now, uh, I'm gonna do a little off camera farming and get more trees and we'll be right back. Actually, you guys, you know what should have been my first task with that? stuff uh what i should have done was this check this out if i get this guy turn you into clay turn you into clay shears fire you up this will i believe drastically increase uh my production of living matter stuff uh because i think you can use leaves for making that plant matter stuff. So grow, 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 grow. Let's go. You take far too long to grow, you trees. I'm gonna need more dirt and more trees super quick. Cause doing this one at a time was painful. Doing it two at a time is half as painful, but still painful. There you go. Uh, nice. I'm gonna have to check real quick. Options, controls. Uh, there's a control for how big of an area that that vein miner type thing. It's not vein miner. I always call it vein miner because that's what the first mod was called. Or excavation. Uh, shape key, shape toggle edit control. So is it control V? Is that what you're saying? I don't think so. Let me find a hotkey that's not in use here. Well, we have a lot of hotkeys in use, don't we? How about numpad four? Numpad's usually a good place. So if I did five by five, is that a larger or excavation area now? I feel like that's probably what it was by default, to be honest with you. Cool. So I think if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna put you maybe here that I should be able to turn these guys into plant matter. Yeah, I can. That's what's up. Now we're talking plant matter, right? Uh, and even better, remember plant matter works as instant bone meal. So I think it's one click equals grow. So like if I do that, boom, nice. That's cool. Uh, I might wanna look into getting a better sapling uh, than what I currently have. Cause these are cool, right? But, but, but the apple trees would probably be better. Just want to make sure not to forget to keep, you know, a few saplings on you. Because with leaves, you don't get saplings, obviously. Awesome. Yeah, this is definitely better by far. Let's just kill this tree. Also, it's a little bit more reliable, the, like the shape of them. Like this thing goes in all like spidery directions. So even though I've got a decent sized platform here, uh, there's definitely some leaves that are off the platform. With like a oak tree, it would be less painful. But yeah, cool. So shears are good. Shears are super good. Uh, the other thing I wanted to try, I've got what, three here? So let's do this real quick. I wanna try something else uh, that I learned from playing Forever Stranded with Pahamar. Looking forward to that. Uh, so let's get um, my ax ready. Four of you, drop into there. Right, four of you. I think I can do this. You ready? Uh, yeah, where's my water gun? Boom. Cool. Five of you cook up. Now, this is probably not going to be super useful just yet, but I want to try it just because it probably couldn't hurt. Right? I keep forgetting that. How much do you get? Three of those. Cool. So dirt, you're cooking up. We'll be back in like a second. Okay, so bricks. Let's try this out. I believe uh, this will get me a bonsai pot. Nice. 
Um, now these things are cool, if you didn't see on Forever Stranded. You place a tree in there with a right click, and it grows a tree! Nice! Happy little tree. You can automate these. Um, so there's two bonsai. I thought you could automate them. Is there not the hopping bonsai in here? I guess that one might be disabled. So that's kind of a bummer. Uh, let's see how many resources we get for this, right? I don't think I'll get leaves, but I've got 49 and 3. Let's see what this thing gives me out of this tree. You ready? And I'm pretty sure I have to right-click it. Uh, grow a bonsai tree. Nice. I think I have to right-click it with a wooden axe. And what did that get me? A stick and a single piece of wood? I mean, it keeps regrowing, by the way. So, like, one sapling continuously gives you stuff. Maybe automatable with, like, some kind of right-clicking feature. Uh, but we'll have to get to that in the future once we have the ability to right-click things. But, hey, I made a bonsai tree. I feel like that was a quest at some point, but I might be making that up. It might have been a quest elsewhere. But anyway, back to Crucibles. Uh, improved melting, right? So, uh, yeah, let me get the clay and stuff, and then we'll be back. All right, so even three tiny charcoal for this melt, right? I think that's what it should be, exactly three. And that's pretty much accurate. Cool. So, hey, I've got a clay bucket. I've got the ingredients for a Crucible. So I should be able to make this, that. Sweet. I can just come over here whenever I want to get what apparently is a single stick and a single piece of, like, that's, meh. But, uh, that's cool. We got our loot chest, which gave us a fancy lantern. Sweet. Probably not a bad idea to start lighting this place up, right? You can go up here, fancy lantern. Alright, that's probably a bad place for a fancy lantern. You can chill right there. How's that sound? Uh, I should probably make some more. I'm going to smelt up some more charcoal so I can get torches going. Because that's probably a smart move, right, guys? Uh, so now we've got that going. So that's that quest done. Let's take a look at making lava now. So apparently, um, and put it above a torch to obtain lava. Well, I think it could take a few minutes, but if you're lucky, it could take only a few seconds. Okay. Now the crucible says that we can also melt blaze powder blocks into lava. So check this out. First things first, let's get a torch. Uh, and I'll show you guys if this works the way it used to. Fuel. There should be a heat source thing. Yes, heat sources. So you can show all the heat sources in the mod. A torch is one heat. There's other heat sources. Obsidian is three. Liquid magma is nine. Uh, torches are one. Lava is six. Uh, Tile.lava is four. I don't know what the difference is between those. Blazing pyrotheme is 10. Fire is eight. Right? So these are the different heat sources that are available to work with the crucible. Now you're you're gonna need to use crucibles actually quite a bit. Um, so, so get used to these because we're gonna be using them. Crucibles are part of the crafting process that gets us things like iron and copper and the other resources that are gonna be available to us. Uh, so basically we need a blaze powder block to get lava. So what we do is pretty straightforward actually. We're going to um, place a torch and then a crucible. And ta-da, right? Um, let's let's do it in such a way that we can watch. And then um, we're going to want two gunpowder. And gunpowders can turn into blaze powder, remember? And that happens in here with 75 heat units. So one to three for 75 heat units. So all we should have to do is open this dude up. One blaze. And obviously higher tiers of this can hold more heat. So we can convert like two at a time later. Cool. I look forward to the day that I can automate this in a better way, right? And then you to that. And does that get me my quest reward? It does. Uh, torch and blaze block complete. Hey, nice. And I got Pebble, a bobblehead from the statues mod. Uh, neat. I don't know what you are, honestly. Yeah, I don't know what that is. So it's one in here for now. So the blaze block goes in this slot, I thought. Wait, there's a crucible thing. I can do it in world, so I can literally place the the blaze block right above. 
But there's, I think, this thing I have to do. Hang on. Let's see. Yeah, I might need to do this. Let's get cobblestone going. Should we do that? Let's get cobblestone going. So I might need a block to place it in here, I remember. Uh, if we look in the G tab, let's see what this guy has for us. Water extractor, dirt furnace, laser. Da -da. So you just, so according to this, you place the blaze powder right above the heat source, but you can do it in that thing as well. But I'm thinking the crucible. It can be automated with the crucible. Oh, drop the item in, okay. Oh, hello, there we go. Wow, that was quick. Nice. So we got a bucket of lava there. Now, if we didn't want to waste our bucket, which we're going to because it's clay and therefore it will melt, we could have melted that in world. But I think I'd rather... I assumed I could get this lava out of here. Oh, it's... it's Okay, it wasn't that... It wasn't that instant. It wasn't that instant. Cool. Holding shift here tells you. It should turn into a full buckets of lava eventually. It'll just take a moment. Um, and then I can get it out with the bucket. So I think this is done. So we did get a bucket of lava. Woot. Remember, clay buckets, one time use. So let's get a cobble gen up. So I gotta say, uh, it's really interesting, this whole mobs can't see you mechanic. Uh, obviously the, the modded mobs can see me. So like the embers mobs and a few others could. But these guys are totally just oblivious to the fact that I'm here at all. I could probably just literally walk into this room uh, and start murdering them and they wouldn't care at all. All right, I got a lot of loots from killing all those dudes by the way, like tons of loot bags that we're gonna have to open up in a minute. And it's probably also a really good, I came over here to get string by the way, cause it's raining and I'm like, oh, it would be nice if I got some string and slept. There wasn't a single spider in that room. There was a ton of everything else, but no spiders. Oh, and great, there's two Endermen here. That's cool. Great job Enderman uh, for being here. Dude, that is kind of cool. A little bit OP feeling, but kind of cool. The whole they can't see you thing. So no damage, no fighting. They're just like, ha, ah, whatever, something's hitting me. No idea what it is, so I'll just stand here and take it. I probably don't technically... Now, the, the spider's drops I do want, kind of. So, uh, if you could be so kind as to not fall off the edge, that would be cool. Nice. The Enderman, though, I don't have a charm for Enderman. It's Creeper, Zombie, Skeleton, Spider. So, we're gonna have to you know, think about that a little bit. But lots of mob drops here to put away. And lots of stuff to open, but you're gonna all go away. Ooh, a potato, that's nice. I got a potato from one of those zombies, sweet. Anyway, I was gonna make a, I was gonna make a thing, wasn't I? Uh, so what can I build with that's not gonna light on fire? Cause half slabs light on fire now, don't they? Yeah, uh, I don't think I can build with much of anything except half slabs. So we'll probably have to like build a, something that can maybe deal with the fact that it's going to be potentially lit on fire, and then we'll get cobblestone and we'll use that to make things better. Does that sound right? Yeah, totally one piece of wood every time this grows. I don't know how much I like bonsai trees anymore. I thought I was excited to get that. Did you steal my wood? Evolved Enderman, that's what they're called. Okay, cool. Uh, let's try and kill one, because I do kind of... Do I have food? I have food. Just ready for the fight. Oh, so close though. So close. Totally almost had that. Goal reached. Here they come. Not sure what that means. Oh. Direwolf got revenge. Well, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Goal reached. Here they come. Okay. Dude, he doesn't care about even standing in water. Like, let alone the fact that it's raining. Evolved Enderman. Who created a mod that made Enderman more annoying? I would like to meet this person and say a few choice words to them. Very choice. Not safe for Darwell's YouTube channel words. All right. Uh, we have to get that cobble gen up and running, and then we can do cool stuff. So let's do it. Uh, I guess I'll build it, like, right off this extension here. And again, we will obviously uh, be doing something better at some point, right? Uh, so let's think about how this is going to go. You think fire can start on half slabs that are, you know... Not light up a little. Let's actually do something with you, can we? Because I want to see the whole darkness thing. Yeah. So if I had half slabs here, 
would would they be able to light on fire? I legitimately don't know the answer to this question. And probably should. Because, you know, YouTuber plays Minecraft a lot. Uh, should know how Minecraft vanilla works. Doesn't. Let's try and set up something that's going to be relatively possibly a cool thing. So we'll extend that out there. Because I want this far enough away from my base such that if there is a fire, it's not that devastating. And then uh, we've got... I put my bucket in here. We're probably going to want another clay bucket for the water. Uh, in fairness, I don't really need another clay bucket for water, but it seems like a smart thing to have. So let's do it. Uh, did I put anything else in here? No, you actually used all your tiny charcoal. Cool. I'm going to hold on to you and let you smelt up. Okay. Be right back. All right, guys, so I'm not entirely sure if this is going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. Uh, so what if we placed our source of lava here, right? And then it should spill out. Uh, so actually what I'm going to want is, let's bump this out a little bit more. Like if we place our source of lava here, it would spill here, there, there, and there, right? Four directions, right? So what we could have then is perfect time to run out of planks. I should have enough. I think I've got some in my in my entered bag too. And we are definitely reaching the wrapping up point for the episode, but I want to get this built before the episode is done. So like this would be our lava, right? So like it would spill here, here. So like this would be a water source, this would be lava, there. I'm just trying to map this out in my head and it's not going as well as I would have hoped. But basically if I put my lava source here, it would spill out in these different directions, right? So like I wanna place this in a way that makes it actually flow properly, but we'll see if I can make that happen. May or may not work. We'll see. Let's try it here. I know what I'm saying may not make a lot of sense, but you'll see in a sec what I mean, right? So if I place it there, so like let's first test. It should spill out to the sides. Yes, that's what I wanted to see. Nice, cool. So this could be water sources on every side kind of thing, right? Nice. That's what I wanted. Sweet. So now we just need some water sources, which I can get from the bucket that I just smelted up. So like, here's a water source. Here's a water source. Not the best cobble gen maker in the world. Well aware of that. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of not being the best couple den maker in the world. And hopefully the thing about fire is true. Hopefully I'm right about this fire situation. Uh, I should have more. I do. Cool. And soon we'll get cobble, obviously, to, so that even if it is a situation we have to worry about, the whole fire thing, like, we'll be okay. So I can do this. Right, uh, here. Come on, you're gonna be a pain, aren't you? All right, we're gonna have to do it around here. Nice, that's what I want. So this would be a water source, right? If I build this ahead of time, we should be in better shape. Oh, it does light on fire. Look at that. Okay, cool. Today I learned. All right, not going to be a big deal. We'll be able to swap this in a minute. So can I vein mine this? That's my question. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Dire derp. That's a big unfortunate. Uh, so what I should probably have is my lava source block one above that. But hey, I got Kyle. I got obsidian, which is a better heat source than the other thing. I wonder if this 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 cool pick I got out of the thing 
Dude, it totally can. Nice. All right, I'll take that. That's actually not the worst derp in the world. I'll take it. Spider, please. I want your string. Because that actually um, makes for a better heat source than, than torches. Uh, speaking of torches, I should probably light up my base. So, hey, uh, we've got the makings of a cobble gen. Uh, we'll have a better one in a second here. I kind of want to fix that derp a little bit before we wrap up the episode. Uh, so if I made another blaze powder block from you, which is easy enough to do, right? So this wasn't like a huge derp. It's a standard dire derp. You guys are used to these by now, right? So that's cool. And then you can combine into that. And then we will have... Um, you know what I should do? If I placed... Well, let's just do it here, and I'll just make another bucket for it. I'm not worried about the occasional thing. So if I just drop you in here, let's see how much faster this goes. So see how much faster it's converting into liquid? Um, because it's over obsidian instead of over a torch, right? So this will very quickly uh, turn into a full bucket of lava. And that's going to be useful for us later, actually. So I, I think that's like a really happy accident. A happy little accident. Bucket of lava. So what I'll do is I'll place you... Here. Alright, not, not, not good, not good. Okay. That wasn't a happy accident. That was a less than ideal accident. <laughs> that was a very un, un, unhappy accident. Alright, well, I'll fix this. Uh, well, I guess I should fix it now. I should be able to just, yeah, break you all. And uh, we'll go from there. Right, I need to break you using this. I need to break it with something in my hand. Or not. Uh, let's do... I have no wood on me at the moment. I do have what's in here. I have a single stick. <laughs> All right. Well, I need to, like, grow trees and do a bunch of things to fix this. So I'll just do it off camera. What I'm going to do is break these blocks and fix this cobble gen off camera. So we'll come back next episode and have a working cobble gen. For now, Devil20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the derps. Take it easy.